Hey everyone, and welcome back to another part of the 100 Mebe Challenge. So this is the makeover for our newly aged up child. It's actually very quick. Um, the lag wasn't as bad as I thought it would be, but if you are not a big fan of the makeovers, please feel free to fast forward or skip to wherever I'm going to leave the actual time below somewhere in the screen telling you you know when the makeover ends and whatnot but for now just uh enjoy With the makeover done, it is a brand new day. Uh, it's actually Thursday morning, which means our kids do have school. I have already prepped everyone to do what they need, they need to get done uh, before they head off to school. I just hope they can get everything done in time as far as getting their hunger out of the way, their bladder and their hygiene, and it's Owen's birthday is Paolo's birthday. All right, so we technically have no choice but to age them up. Uh, even though they do have school tomorrow and a majority of our kids, actually all of our kids, will not be attending school because they are going to be busy attending the graduation. Alright, let's just make sure that everyone's out of bed, grabbing food, using the restrooms. Ooh, this is a lot, a lot of people. <laughs> um, but once Paolo and Owen actually age up, we are going to move out the brothers. Uh, Nico, Owen, Paolo, and Quimby. So Essa can go ahead and uh, start having babies again. I don't know why, but I went into her friends list and she's pretty much hated by everyone. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if this is part of a glitch. But oh, Quinn Swan is actually, she moved out of town. Oh, did not notice. Uh, but anyway, she is getting to know somebody new. Uh, this Kirk Horner, I think he was our technician from the previous part when we had our uh, toilet fix. So she's just getting to know him. We're just gonna keep chatting, keep chatting. And I think our kids are heading off to school now. 
and none of them even really had the chance to, especially this guy. Well, as far as hunger, the school will take care of them, so it's all good. Alright, so they will get their hunger taken care of at school. Oh boy. Wait, you don't have school, no. Just checking. Alright, he and uh, Paolo can do normal effort while everyone will be working hard. Just because, you know, we are going to age them up, so. No point to have them uh, overstress themselves. Alright, so everyone off to school. No more kids in the household, right? I don't want anyone to get in trouble. Alright, so. Not really much to do at this point. Except for... Ooh, why are you throwing her mail down on the floor? That is just messed. Uh, oh, no messed up. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, paint our bills. Oh, in case you guys noticed and I didn't point it out, I did create a little hobby room. Pretty much like a electronic free uh, hobby room. There's nothing, there's no electronic device in here, there's no TV, there's no computer. So, you know, in case any of our kids are technophobe like Paolo, they won't get overstressed and bring their fun down by being near um, active electronics. I think that would be the best way to go. And it didn't really cost too much. I think I had like 6,000 something simoleons and it only cost, of us, cost us about a thousand to just build this tiny little room. Yep. Alright, you know what, Koimi? Since you have nothing to do, go ahead and clean up. And... Oh, let's have everyone work hard. Ooh. No, no, don't stock off. Do not. Or you can't afford to slack off. We're gonna work hard. So I think some of our other kids will be getting on the honor roll. I'm totally taking a wild guess here, but let's see. Uh, no. Who is this? Uh, Riley. She will be getting an A, hopefully, today. Sarah will be getting an A. So is Trisha and Uma. Alright. So I guess no one's getting on the honor roll except for... No, that's it. No one's on the honor roll. Alright, let's see how Essa's coming along with uh, Kirk here. I'm pretty sure we haven't hooked up with Kirk yet. Oh, we are actually becoming pretty good friends. Who is this? Raphael Stryker? No. Uh, I, I think we pretty much hooked up with everyone here. These are our kids, so we're not even going to look at that. Alright, so I'm going to have Essa probably hit up the bar. That is like the place for us to, you know, uh, hunt down our next victim. And I always forget where it is. Alright, let's double check. Come on, load up. A load up. There we go. Alright, let's spring down on the building. Oh, surprisingly, there's no one here. But it is 11 in the morning, and no one in their right mind would be caught at a bar because they're all busy with work and whatnot. But I am surprised there's not one single person here. For a moment, I thought the taxi was Ooh. dropping off someone. Ooh. Or is this taxi dropping off someone? No. I think they're just waiting for drunkies to come out so they can uh, get some business. <laughs> uh, deliver a common relic from Egypt. No. We are not spending uh, hundreds and thousands of simoleons just to get an opportunity done. Maybe one of these days when we're, you know, getting close to finishing this challenge, I'll actually accept those opportunities. But as of right now, we are not. Alright, there is seriously not one single person here. Why is that? Alright, in that case, we're just going to keep chatting with Kirk. Because, you know, I like to get a number of guys lined up for us but you know what let's go ahead and set check on our online dating profile and i think essa can actually start working on her book again since she's done having babies for the time being 
And yeah. Ooh, research project. We will do that. So we're gonna have her research when she gets off school. Let's go ahead and check messages. So we'll go ahead and stop. Ooh, drop off permission slip. Definitely doable. Uh, no, we're not going to Egypt. Let's be real here. Come on, seriously. Ooh, did he clean all the dishes? Yes, he did. Oh, what a wonderful son of ours. I swear, I need to add, add more toilet here. It's just so empty. No. No <laughs> Egypt, please. Okay. So, we have uh, some guys. Jet. I swore we hooked up with him, but we are going to reject the elderly. Uh, Biu... I want to say we uh, tried to be friends with him. Antoine, no, I don't remember ever saying that name, so we're going to keep him. Johnny, no, William, yes. Okay, so I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this part when we do Age Show Apollo and Owen nerd. and then uh, move them out. And I think we can actually go ahead and get Essa pregnant because we are pretty getting close friends with Kirk. Go ahead and invite him over and then get a little busy <laughs> uh, right away. No need to wait. So I think we are at like what 51 or 52 kids, and I'm like 90% sure Essa's gonna push out quadruplets again. So, quadruplets, not triplets, quadruplets again. So, we will be getting there pretty quick. <gasps> we are friends! Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and invite over. No. Alright, so let's go ahead and get Owen and Paolo outside in the rain. Why not? Well, but they will be under our little attempted garage. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and age up Owen. I mean, it's his birthday anyway, so might as well. Alright, while he celebrates uh, by himself, or at least with Paolo, <laughs> uh, let's see. A lot of our kids are not doing too well. Let's go ahead and watch TV. I'm not even really going to bother with the makeover because we're going to move them out anyway, so... It's what I and I don't want to lag out my game by jumping into the stylist again, so yeah. Alright, so Owen is a uh, loves the heat, hydrophobic, athletic, artistic, and da da da! Vehicle enthusiast. Now, that is something we don't real, uh, usually get, so totally don't mind. Alright, Paolo, your turn. Trigger age transition. Oh, let's go ahead and choose the first thing. Master Ar Acrobat. <laughs> I'm, uh, I was about to say Arcobat. Oh. It is dusty in my room, hence the allergies are coming back. Alright, is he here? Yes, he is. Alright. Let's go ahead and. I don't know. Right, let's do a. Funny interaction, make silly faces. Alright, Paolo is now a young adult. He is a grumpy, star quality, hydrophobic, technophobe, and da da da. Flirty, now that is something we don't usually get too often. Alright, what happened? Alright, so we're gonna try for a baby with, ooh, Heartbreaker, why not? Kirk Horner. <gasps> Are we gonna scare him away or is he going to totally jump in the bathroom with us? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh no, is Essa getting sick? Uh oh. Okay, we are definitely gonna have her go to the hospital and get some sort of shot. If it's available, because we don't want her to 
be parked in an instant. Dude, you are totally blocking the way. Come on. Oh, let's have them go to research facility or research store. Okay. Just get those out of the way first. Alright, you know what? Our family is totally glitching. Let's come over here. Ooh. Actually, my game is just lagging. And we can't tell. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, so they're leaving. Let's have you watch TV. Uh, watch TV. Uh oh. Uh oh. The, act the interaction is still going through. So. What are you guys doing? Like, why? Why are you guys standing outside? I don't get it. Alright, City Hall was pleased, and we are gonna bring up our grades. And we're gonna have Nico call up. Oh, can we move out? I don't think we can. Not, not until another. Oh, wait. Why is she freaking out? You know what? We're gonna dispel rumors. No, we're not woohooing. Because I totally oh. forgot <laughs> that if I move things far out, we still need to move one more person out. So we're gonna wait. So Riley, Sarah, Trisha, and Uma is ready to be aged up before I move anyone else out. It totally slipped my mind and oops, a total change of plans. Alright, so we're gonna ask everyone to leave. Who else is in our house that is not invited? I don't know. <laughs> Alright, so he's gonna go home. Is that our love interest? No, right? Okay, good. As long as we don't make out or kiss, we're fine. Alright, alright, alright. Um, why are you watching TV? I don't get it. <laughs> I don't. You're a techno folk. Come on, dude. Alright, so. Uh, since I totally Whoa, forgot about the whole moving out process, we are going to wrap up this part here. And, um, like I said, I'm going to wait for our next set of uh, quadruplets, or at least Riley is ready to be aged up. Then I will proceed with the whole moving out the kids. But for now, we are going to hold off on Essa getting pregnant, which is fine because we do have a pretty full household and yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this part and like always thank you for watching hope you all have a wonderful day don't forget to comment rate or subscribe if you haven't already because you're not going to regret it and i will talk to you guys in the next part bye everyone